In this video, we are going to learn how to use our calculator to get an equation for a trend line. Here I show um, a set of masses and a set of volumes. And if I was going to graph these masses and volumes using a spreadsheet program or a graphing calculator, it would show me that these data points appear in a line. And so I can use my calculator to tell me what the equation for that trend line should be. The first thing I need to do is go to the data tab and type in my data. And so I'm going to type in my masses into the first list. And then I'm going to scroll over and then type in my volumes into the second list. Now I got my data typed in and quit this menu. Then I'm going to go to the second menu above the data. So I'm going to go stat reg distribution. So I'm going to go second data. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says linear regression AX plus B. Um, you might have learned in school that the equation for a trend line is Y is equal to MX plus B, but AX plus B is what this calculator says. The next thing I have to do is tell my calculator which variable is on the X axis and which variable is on the Y axis and where I typed in that data. So for me, I typed in my masses in that first list, but my masses correspond to the Y axis on my graph and my volumes correspond to the X axis. So I need to tell my calculator that my X data is in list two because that's where I typed in and my Y data was in list one but you pick whatever corresponds to the graph that you're trying to make. Um, the frequency list would be if I, one of the data points appeared more than once, but each data point here applied is just once. And then um, I'm just gonna go down here to calculate. And now it tells me my equation. So it said that A was the slope because that was multiplied by the X. And so my equation for the trend line is Y is equal to 5.2248 X plus 0 0.01558. And then the R squared for that equation of the trend line, that's its that's a statistical value that tells you how good your line fit is with the maximum value being one. So that's not necessarily part of your trend line, but that's the equation of the trend line. Now, what's neat about this is that if we quit this menu and we pull up A by hitting that X button a bunch of times, we can see that this number is stored as A. And then if we tap that button some more, then that is equal to B. So if we needed to do additional calculations with this e equation, we can pull up A, type in a data point. So if I had a particular one, I could type in and then I need to reference B. And then I got those typed in here. So this tells me that if my volume was 2.5, then my corresponding mass would be 13.2. Hope that helps you get some calculations done.